Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ancient Aliens. This is Map 8, Ancient Aliens, and as you can see, we've got 233 monsters and two secrets. So, some tricky areas in this one, so let's see how we get on. Take these out, get in here, watch out for hit scan first. I like to take them out as quickly as we can. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go around the corner, two more. Around the corner again, chain gunner. Got some good stock here. Gonna go for some more hit scan because they just roam around the map, otherwise, it cause lots of mess. Let's get them out of the way. You can hear a feisty Arachnotron in the back, so just be careful with those. Don't stand still for too long. Actually, there's another one up here, so let's take that down as well. Actually, just get you out of the way. The Arachnotron does uh, a fair amount of damage, so you need to be super careful with them. Okay, you can see the clouds of cacos closing in as well. I'll do. We want to grab the shells, but not the berserk pack. Didn't do that well. There we go. Let's keep moving. Drawing them all over here. Let's go up here. I want to get the rocket launcher next. Whoa. Okay. Arch file with revenants at our back. So be careful. I'll do. Not looking for anything more complicated than that. And I'll just slowly do a little bit of tidy up here. Bit of running around here, but I quite like that. Because it's a big open map, so it can promote a bit of infighting, which can be helpful. And then, when we've got all that done, we've got to grab the Berserk. So we're back to full health. Just watch the um, Cackles. Wouldn't mind getting rid of that um, Arachnotron stage. Come on. So just watch out with all the um, cacos and revenants and things around as well. Okay. Oh. Thought you were going to go down. Just going to go in here, get some ammo. This is the end of the map, so we're not ready for this yet. But not a bad place to hang out and to take down the Iraq in front. Okay. Oh. Ran back into that. Didn't need to. Let's get back up top. Okay. Up here, just process the ledges, take everything down. If you've got some rockets, which you should have. You can just, oh! Punched me from below. You can just use the rocket launcher here to just do a little bit of tidy up with the cackles. And I don't have that many rockets because I didn't pick them all up. That wasn't ideal. There we go. Just quick tidy, and I'm going to drop down. Deal with our other re revenant. And that gives us all these rockets. Just get those out of the way before we get flooded with cackles. Okay, that'll do. Back in our elevator. And up and use the rockets to clear out some cackles. Come on. Just... Make sure you spam a couple of rockets so they don't uh, crowd you too heavily. That'll do for now. Okay, switch here. Flip the switch. Gonna take these down. We picked up a berserk pack so we can actually punch out the arch file here by lo blocking it into the closet. And then you get out, get back in so it can't get out. There we go. Okay. I think I've got stuff coming from multiple directions there, so just need to be careful on the side. And... yeah. Okay. So just doing a bit of tidy up. Whatever's around that needs to be looked after. You can hear the shotgunners there, let's take them down. And then we will have um, a revenant in here, take him out, whatever you want. You want. Gonna get the shells and use that. Okay, not too bad. Lots of health, grab some rockets. Bring in another revenant, get one good shot in. Oh, weapon change. Wasn't properly prepared for that. Grab some more shells, just in case. Hey man. Okay, just gonna have a quick scout. A few little things I might have missed. Bit of health here. That'll do. Okay. So let's move over to the other side. Just a quick check here. Looks good. Picked everything up. Okay. So this section is where we get the yellow key. Lots of stuff to do in here. Not bad in health, but if it was much worse than this, I'd actually pick up a medikit for it. 
So there's two medikits here, and even just to get the 5% or 6% I'd nearly do it. But let's prepare ourselves, rock launcher on, three rockets, and I was switching over to go in here. Tuck it out, that's good. So yeah, you can see what the main issue here is, the spectres. Okay, can't really see them. Just watch out for the imps as well, they'll start to crowd. And then throw the rocket launcher on and just take them out. See he's in a good position. I don't want to take my own splash damage, so I need to be able to get across the room. There you go. You've annoyed them. Can't easily get in there yet. Come on. There we go. So you want to be in... Keep yourself in good health here. Might just be easier to take that one from over here. There we go. Come on, come back. I'll loot. Okay, I think that's them all. Let's just pick up all the bits and pieces. You can flip the switch in here. That lowers the teleporter in the middle so you can get back out again. Okay. That looks good. I am actually going to go and get all the shells from the corners here because they're valuable. And then when we go back here, this is a mess. If you if you have an emergency, teleport back in here is probably the best way to dodge stuff. But you need to keep moving. Small arena, lots of stuff moving around. It's not easy, so don't stop running. There we go. Just wanted to get a couple of loops in. If I'm lucky, I'm not going to run into any rockets or stuff. And if you get through things, run back in here. So all the monkey boys start off in here, but they slowly teleport through. Oh, I walked into that for no apparent reason. I'm going to go get myself some health. Keep moving. Ran through that, a bit risky, but I felt in a bit of <laughs> a bit of a, a pickle on that one. We really needed to get out of. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. You can flip the switch to get out. Just watch out for the arachnatron. You have taken them down. You can see that lowers the yellow key when we hit it. Just grab some more health there, and I think we're pretty good. So sometimes revenants can end up back in here. So just run through and telefrag them. Yep. You can just hear one there. I had a missing kill in one of my runs and I'd spent ages looking for it and that was it. So just be aware of it. Just gonna try and run onto the walkway and keep going. So we've got the yellow key. This is the yellow switch. So this allows us to get into the next area. This isn't particularly threatening, so you can come in here quite slowly and manage it. But when you flip this switch, it raises the walkway here, so we've got more work to do. So get over here pretty quick. Start taking stuff down. You're going to get hit scan and various things. I'm expecting chain gunners. Oh, they must have been in fighting already. Okay. So we pick up all this stuff. Got to run in here and start processing some of this. Okay. There's a secret nearby. Oh, look out for a mismatched texture. See if you can, if you can find it. I, I certainly couldn't. Okay, ro rockets on. Get him down into that little cave. Wake up the revenants. Take him down. I think they all... Ah, there we go. I going to say they all haven't woken up. Let's go and have a look. That's them all down, which is good. Grab the health here. If the Arachnatron holds still, we can use some rockets on it. Otherwise, I'm not going to waste them. Got two revenants here. Come on. Okay, that's pretty good. We've got the Mancubus. Let's take it out. The Arachnatron is going to keep moving. Oh, there you go. I'll do. Come on. One more. Great. Okay. I'll come back here, but before we do that, let's go up top. Got a couple of revenants here. Good on shells. Okay, just peeked out. Touch too early on that one. Chain gunner's helping me out. Okay. Oh. I'm being blocked here by... Um, Spectres. Okay, I can't even tell if they're there or not. I think there's still some around. Come on. Okay. So we get the plasma which for our trouble. Oh, which is well worth it. And if you look here, you see the green flag with some cells up top. That's a secret. So we're going to go for that next. Just pick up some resources and things as we go. I want to keep myself in reasonable health. So if you just walk off the ledges here, you're going to see just a little pad down there. We can teleport on. That brings us up to that secret. 
Okay, so pick up all the cells, drop out again, keep going. And let's see what we have. Okay, I want to pick up this medikit. There's one up top as well. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, let's go up. Mancubus, I took down, which is good. I'm not going to go in there yet, just want to pick this up. And I mentioned about the mismatched mm. texture. This mm. is tough. That texture is not lined up with these pillars here. So that's the cue to tell you something's going on here. 45 minutes later, I didn't find it. I looked it up and I still found it hard to see. But if you spotted that one, fair play. Okay, just watch out here in case there's a Mancubus. Yeah, and a Hell Knight. I should probably have dealt with them before I came over. Because it's pretty confined here, which isn't ideal. But use a standard Mancubus dance, left then right. Helps out a lot. Watch out in case there's a chain gunner live down here, but if not, you're going to get your mega armor. So that's nothing you needed to do in that section, but just the armor and things are really helpful. Okay, so we're going to go up top. I, I didn't mention it, but that's a UFO. And the little tractor beam to pulls you up is the teleporter that brings us into the next section. Okay, so we're ready for this. Going to throw on my rocket launcher. Not sure what's here. Okay, so so yeah, this is not the section for a rocket launcher. Stick your plasma on. Going to go and pick... Oh, there's no point in picking those up because I'm at full. So this is really, really demanding. Um, we're going to get in a load of, load of arch files that are a real pain. And there's loads and loads of spectres that hold you up and the arch files just take you out. So I'm going to go and wake it all up, keep the plasma on and come back up here. I'm going to stay near the berserk pack so I can reheal if I take an archfile hit, which I'm likely to do. So let's get it moving. Get back out. I don't want to get back in here. You can see the archfile is there. If they all crowd up here, this is great. Okay, I held out too long, but I'm okay with that. There's an archfile, or there's a... Uh... Okay, I'm talking another bit of a hit, that's right. That's it, come on. That'll do, okay. So, what typically happens is you get things like spectres behind you, so you can't even dodge. So when I go like this and I'm hitting the archfiles and I go to step back to get cover, I get held up and attacked, <laughs> and the archfile hits me. So you can go down really, really quickly in this one. This this is definitely a fight I've had to practice. So be careful with this one. Just trying to listen out a bit. Yeah, there we go. Still stuff around. No idea where it is. Okay, just wanted to pick up cells. The blue key, obviously. And then, there's uh, still something here. There we go. Okay. We don't need the Berserk Pack because we already picked one up and we're at full health, so let's leave it alone. And we can teleport back out, which just takes us back to where we were. Again, you could play it from here, and if things go wrong, just teleport back out and teleport in again after you've gotten some health or whatever. You can just teleport in and out if you want to. Okay, so we got the yellow key. Sorry, we got the blue key in that area. So we can go up here next. Let's run in and get things moving. Uh, probably the pain elemental is the key thing here. We need to deal with it. I probably could have risked a couple of rockets to take down the pain elemental as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm doing a pretty poor job of that, but the pain element is down. Come on. So I want that revenant down next. Okay, I've got to keep my plasma. Not worth it here. This fight isn't threatening enough. I'd like to keep the plasma for something more demanding. So start picking up some resources as we go. Get ourselves back into good shape. Don't need that. Fine. Okay. So that's all looking in good shape. We've got some cells, got some rockets, and now we can go through this teleporter. So let's do that. I'm going to leave the chain gun on for this one. And you want to run around, keep moving a little bit here, but you can use these little areas for a little bit of respite and just do a loop, take out all the chain or the shotgunners on the way. This is the easy part of this fight. It's about to get more challenging. More arch files in this, much like the green slime pish fight we had. So I'm going to heal up before I take the Soul Sphere to get the maximum benefit from it. And then I am going to flip this switch to bring in the mechanics. We're going to get a Hell Knight here, take down quickly and get in here for cover. And then deal with the two arch files on that side. Okay, so that's the plan. Be quick on your rocket launcher. 
You can see I, I was instant attacked there. So I'm just gonna keep flooding this place. I had said plasma, but actually I had the rock launcher on, it was going well, so I just left it on. Oh, forgot about <laughs> all the chain gunners. Okay. Let's take that one down, move around a little bit. So just a rocket into those chain gunners will do a lot of damage. But this, they're annoyed with cackles, so I'll let them get on with it. Okay. Maybe not as fixated on the cackles as I thought. Come on. There you go. Got what you deserve at the end. So that was pretty poor. I'm in bad health now, which I really, really don't want to be for the next section. I think the next section I have the capacity to, draw, to die incredibly quickly. And starting off at already low health is not ideal. Okay, lots of shells here if we ever want them. But health is not good. Okay. So let's get the rocket launcher on again. I'm going to go in and turn right. And go that way with it. So turn right. And just keep flooding in. Okay, wow. Got that cleared up pretty well. Well, you can see I can't hang around here. Actually, I need my plasma because it's getting desperate. Good. They're all queuing up over here, but really what I want to do is get out because there's going to be nothing on the other side of this arena over here. So you can get out. Loads of space. I didn't need to pick that up. I thought I was still on low health. That's right. Okay. Just take some stuff out. Tidy up the rest of it. I've done well to make it through that fight on low health. I normally have a lot more trouble with this. Went around the other way. Okay. So ready for the next bit. I got like the chain gun for this. So let's run in here. Watch out for the shotgunners. Let's stun lock the Arachnotron. And we've got two chain gunners up top. Let's go and deal with them. And then you can heal up here if you need to. It's going to grab the armor. The rest we're good for. But we'll probably come back for. And then we're going to get... I'm going to run down the pedestals here to rise up to get the red key and get out of this area because lots of stuff's going to come in. So I like to just fire a rocket, flip the switch, and just run down. Then, back on the chain gun, back up again, and tidy up. Could line up a bit better than I was, but... Plenty of health around, so let's grab it and keep moving. Have we got a chain gutter down there? We do. Let's just see if we can help out. That'll do it. Okay, and then we've got the health up here. So why not? Okay, so we can run back through this again. And this time run in and actually grab that. We can also grab the um, rockets still around. So let's grab some of those. Good. So in pretty good shape. And after all that, we've got all keys, including the red key we've just picked up and the red key area is at the end so if I get my bearing it's down here not sure how many kills I'm supposed to have watch out for the chain gunner here which we took down oh I did come in here before so that's okay so we're going to tidy up this area first you can get two barons coming in from the back so tidy up this area as quick as you can there we go if you get the revenants down this is not so difficult that's pretty good that's going in face up to this a little bit. Okay. Not a lot of space, but a nice, again, nice movement challenge, which I often enjoy. Okay, I want to get out of here. Let's speed it up a little bit. Oh. Getting held up by the walls. That's all kills, all secrets. Flip the switch here, and we've got our exit. That's pretty good. This is this is the first heavier map for me. So this is uh, 19 minutes to get through, which is a, a reasonable little run. Uh, happy enough with that, to be honest. Um, but there are a number of fights in this one that can be really, really demanding. Um, I had to practice a couple of those. I think basically each one of the ones associated with the UFOs that you have um, to get each of the different keys to get out at the end. Like th I, I've needed to, to practice some of them because 
they're they can be pretty intense if you don't know the mechanics or you don't know how stuff evolves and just to find good routes or um good ways around managing lots of heavy monsters in a very small arena so each one of the the three of those has got a very challenging area associated with it but very nice map great to run around really enjoyed um you know, really enjoy this kind of app where I run across it a lot and run over and back. I, I don't have a very direct routing strategy for it, but again, it's an open map. I like to play it that way. And again, secrets on this one. Found the first one, no problem, but that second one with the misaligned stone, there's absolutely no way I'm finding that. And I, I, I was really determined when I had two different sessions where I spent a lot of time looking for it, probably 45 minutes in the end in total. And I, I was nowhere near, <laughs> I was nowhere near getting that one. So um, happy to have this one done. Great to be on to the next one. Looking forward to it. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Hope you guys have too. And I'll see you in the next one. Whoa. Okay. I forgot the text screen. So let's get back into this. Just say the text screen won't come for everybody. You need to be using the UMAP info lump that I have uh, for my playthroughs. So have a look in the description if you're interested in that. It's the episode selection and level names part. But let's let's read this one out. The peyote's effects fade. And with its waning, your vision quest comes to a close. But what you've seen is all too real. The cunning of the wolf, the wrath of the bear, the strength of the bison, and the sight of the eagle. They're part of your spirit. Now, you know you'll call upon them again in dire times. And what about the flying saucers? Were they real or imagined? There's only one way to find out. Let's get to the bottom of this rabbit hole. <laughs> Looking forward to the next one on this.